This is how we do it with iHeart Country. Celebrate the release of big old albums, y'all. My name is Wayne D. He is Jason L. Dean. His new album, Highway Desperado, is out now. And first of all, the hashtag, if you're on social media, by the way, is iHeartJasonLDean. Uh, who else mid-show, mid-song, can start signing autographs but you? Well, that's a part of a song where I usually just leave the stage in the middle of the show. So I got to, you know, today I was kind of a little, uh, didn't really have much to do, so just, you know, sign a few autographs over there, you know? <laughs> I got to say, uh, you're phenomenally talented, man, and we're, we've been lucky enough to work together a lot over the past couple of years. But your love of music started a long time ago when you were young. Uh, you'd practice on your father's guitar, right, while he was at work? Yeah, he, uh, my dad was in the Air Force, and so he was going, and, and going to work during the day, and he had an old Fender guitar at the house. And uh, he would take sheets of notebook paper and draw frets and kind of show me where my fingers went, and I would sit there and kind of try and figure it out all day. And so by the end of the summer, I was teaching him how to play stuff. So I picked it up. I feel like I picked it up fairly quick. Give me, so what's a, if you could take me through that timeline, what's a favorite memory maybe doing that with your dad? Well, him, my dad and my uncle always would kind of sit around and play, you know, at, like our little family get-togethers. And then my dad had like a little garage band that would come over and play. And I really just kind of wanted to do it to play with my dad, my dad, my uncle. And, um, you know, so it kind of started there. And really, it was just like most kids, like I thought my dad was cool and, and just wanted to do what he was doing. And, um, you know, and it just kind of took off from there. So my dad always had a big love for music, always had a big album collection at our house. So as a kid, you know, five years old, I'd go put an album on, sit there with headphones and listen to, to records and, and things like that. And so it just kind of went from there. Listen, and this is a question. I was just chatting with somebody on this side of the theater here uh, about the first time you ever heard your song on the radio. Do you remember that moment where you were, how it felt? Yeah, I was, uh, I was going to a friend of mine's house. And uh, back then, we would, I would go over there and play like video games. I was a lot younger back then, guys. And... Um, <laughs> So I stopped at the store, it was, I don't know, it was like 10 o'clock at night or something, and I stopped by the store, grabbed like a six pack of beer, and I was going to his house, and, and as soon as I went to get out of my truck, I heard Hicktown started, that kick drum, you know, boom, boom, boom. And so um, I just shut the door real quick. I'm like, man, if somebody sees this, I'm gonna look like, you know, that's not a cool look. You sitting there jamming out to your own song, you know what I mean? <laughs> So I shut the door, and it was like so stupid because I was a brand new artist. Nobody knew who I was. Nobody knew my song. Like it was more in my head. But uh, I just remember it was, you know, getting jacked up about that, and you know, things like that. And then the first time you hear it on a countdown show or something, and um, I don't know. It's just like, you know, like I said earlier, you just work for something for your whole life, and then all of a sudden it's like staring you in the face, and it's just there's no other feeling like it. He's 11 albums deep in his career, which is again a remarkable statistic in its own. Are we thinking what's next? Because the way the world works, I mean, everything's so instant gratification. Are you already thinking about 12? Yeah, I mean, we always kind of do that. You know, once we, we're done with one album, it's like, okay, that thing's out. By the time that album actually comes out, we're already stockpiling for the next album, you know, writing songs or, or getting songs ready for the next album. And uh, when we think we got enough songs to go in and, and start working on that album, we'll go in and kind of get a head start on it. But uh, it's kind of a never ending circle when it comes to making records. You know, we, we finish the album, we take a little bit of time off, maybe a month or so. And, um, and then it's kind of just back to it. You know what I mean? It's just, it's kind of a never ending cycle. So, and it, it I like it. It, it. I like working like that. And, and um, you know, that's one of the reasons, I guess, we've been able to put out 11 records so far. But, yeah. So, again, the album is available now. Is there a, uh, cause being an artist is being a storyteller at the same time. Was there a, a story that hit close to home for you that might have been harder to tell than others on this project? Um, any, something that hit close to home. Um, not really. I mean, I think, uh, you know, Try That in a Small Town was one of those songs that I feel like... <laughs> I feel like was. I feel like that was something that that had kind of been on all of our minds for the last couple of years, and um, and obviously, you know, there, there's a that's always kind of a touchy subject because you know that half the people feel this way, half the people feel that way, and uh, but at some point, you know, being an artist, I mean, this is our way of expressing what we do, and and we, you know, sometimes can't come out and say whatever, so we do it in a song, and this was our way of doing that, so. Um, yeah, it's uh, there was, that that one was uh, was definitely something that once you know once I heard that song first time and, and these two guys were two of the writers on it right here so um, once I heard that song it, it was no doubt that was going to be the, the song to launch the album and uh, and like I said just something that I felt like we wanted to say for a while and uh, this just kind of felt like the right time to do it.